Hi, Andrew Crude here, and you are obviously wanting to know how to copy a HTML email into a Weber and resend it out. So you may have received an email from your business or a, uh, a subscription that you um, receive, email subscription newsletter or something, and you want to resend that out to your list within a Weber. Well. You can't just copy and paste it like you can a normal text uh, email. So I just want to show you step by step how to go through and change that. And then also if it's um, okay to do and applicable to you, I also want to show you quickly how to change the um, some of the maybe the links within that. And you can um, then personalize that HTML email to your own situation. So what I'm going to do first. I'm going to show you the example of my business. Obviously, I'm using this because it's simple and uh, straightforward to show as an example, um, and you can uh, get the idea of how this works. So, the business I work with is called Doobly, um, and this is an email we just received uh, into our inbox. Kelly actually received it, and as you can see, it's all HTML, lots of images, lots of hyperlinks to their Facebook, Twitter, you know, everything else, um, and everything else. So, I want to actually resend this out to a list that I have in Aweber that's specifically for um, attracting customers into our business. Um, but obviously all the links that are in here go directly to Doobly and um, don't use my telefriend link that we have with Doobly. So what I need to do is, um, first thing you need to do is save the message. So I'll show you how you do that. So save as. Um, I've actually already saved it. You just pick it and you save it as a HTML file. Okay, so I've got that right there. So I'm not going to save it again. We can then just minimize that down. We don't need it again. I'll show you where that is. You then find it and you open that uh, file up and it's going to open up in a browser window just like this. So you can see where it's on my computer and you can see the whole message including the from, sent to and everything else. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky but you don't actually really need to know much about HTML to be able to do this. Um, it's not as complicated as what you're going to think. So if you right click on anywhere on the page and click view page source, that's going to open another tab and you're going to see, if you don't know much about HTML, this is going to look a lot like uh, chipperish to you. If you know some HTML, you're obviously going to understand what you're seeing here. Um, and this is um, quite a long email. HTML emails are very extensive. Um, and you can see down, if you scroll all the way down, yeah, you're looking at 5,000, 6,000 lines of code. Um, so, well, 5,100, almost 5,200 lines of code. So there's obviously a lot of information in there. So what we need to do now is we need to I do Control A, which co which selects everything there. I copy that. Then you grab um, your notepad file, or if you're on a Mac, whatever the similar um, thing is, and you don't want to use Microsoft Word or anything else. You want this to be a raw, just text, and you just paste that in there. Okay, and you can see you'll see why because if you don't do it. If you do it in Word or something, it'll remove all the spacing and everything. It'll just it'll just mess it up. So you want to keep it in the format it is right now for when you go back into a Weber. So I'm just gonna do this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you once, and then I'm gonna pause the video and have to come back to it because there is quite a bit of stuff to change before I can pop this into um, our. Um, a Weber account. So I'm just going to quickly find the link that I need for that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is just show you how to find and replace um, if you need to do certain links and stuff like that. Okay, one of the things you do need to do as well is go through and remove the to and from and that type of thing. So the first thing we can do is um, if you know which email address um, it was sent to, you just do select or uh, find that email address and you can go through and see that this is the date it was sent, this is the sent from, sent to and the subject line. We don't need any of that stuff so you can actually go through and delete everything right there. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to hit delete. Um, that gets rid of all of that. Okay. 
Uh, not sure what that is. We'll leave that there for now. We can check it once we've got it pasted in um, to see if that needs to be tweaked at all. Okay, now the first thing we need to do, if we actually go back to our original message and we hover over this, you can see down, hopefully you can see down the bottom, it's got news.doobly.com forward slash go slash eight slash and a whole lot more else after it. And all of them start with news.doobly.com. So what we are going to do, I'm just going to get my link quickly here that we're going to paste in, just so I've got that ready to go, I'll copy that. So if I do a control F again, and I go news.doobly.com, okay, so if you see that there, it's brought up news.doobly.com highlighted. All I need to do is select that entire link within the quotation marks and I just now paste my link for my telefriend. So it's still going to doobly.com and this is my referral link for um, attracting customers into my business and now that has changed. Now you could go through and change the Facebook one for Facebook and Twitter for Twitter and all that. I don't bother with it for this. Um, for me, I just want everything to go to my telefriend link, whatever they click on on this page. So that's what I do there. So I'm going to go through now and change a whole lot of links. Uh, I'm not going to bore you and sit here and make you watch all that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the video right now and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, so all done. So I've uh, gone through and done all those. It takes a couple of minutes, so that's why I didn't want to bore you. So I've still got the news.doobly.com there. I'm just going to click Find Next, and it's not coming up with any others. Now, just to double check that there isn't anything that I missed, I'm just going to do a HTTP search um, and get rid of that. Um, why isn't that working? Okay, this is being really funky. Maybe that's up there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if I go back, just make sure you put the cu the uh, cursor back at the very top of the page, otherwise it'll keep looking from the very bottom. So if we go find next, um, and you just want to make sure that everything that's coming up, and this is becoming a bit, you know, this might be a bit too much, um, but yeah, you, know, you want to make sure that you spending the time you do it properly now obviously all these are going to be images so you don't want to be replacing those um, because the whole thing will fail um, but you just want to make sure that there isn't any of those uh, other links to something where you won't be able to um, get people to sign up to your opportunity or your affiliate link or um, your business or whatever it is that you're uh, promoting and sharing with your list so I'm just going to quickly go through all this just really quickly guys I uh, just want to double check um, that I didn't miss anything. It's worked before, so I'm not too worried about it. But I just want to be thorough. Um, just so, look, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to cancel that. I'm just going to leave that and bring this off to the other window. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to close that, close that. Now inside Aweber, make sure you have the right list. So this is my customer list. And where you would normally just click create a broadcast and use the uh, drag and drop editor, you're actually going to go code your own HTML. So you can paste in your own HTML message now. So it's going to load. Okay. So while that's loading, what we do is we come back. We again control A or select all of the um, HTML code. We copy that and you can actually delete everything that Aweber puts in here automatically because obviously we, all the coding is already there and you just paste so control V it comes down to about the same amount of lines remember we did remove some lines so we don't won't have exactly the same number at the bottom there um, so if we come back up I may have to fix that last um, thing I replaced because I don't think it's going to be right but we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Now I just want to get the same uh, subject line that uh, came with the original email. I'm just copying that out of um, Outlook and pasting that. So it's score a touchdown for the big game. Obviously the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend. Um, enter to win a $300 Best Buy gift card. So obviously Best Buy is doing our promotion and tangent with Doobly um, to do that. Now to see what it looks like you can just click on test 
and as you can see it's all good so if you remember back the email address and all details were up here uh, we didn't want that to come up you can just hover your mouse over so you can obviously see um, our referral link there that's fine um, newsletter referral link you know all these different things um, you know it's got rid of that but that's okay basically we want people to be signing up to our our uh, as a customer um, and this is goes through and shows everything so I just want to make sure at the bottom um, yeah it looks all okay to me so um, didn't remove any images that I'm worried about or anything else um, okay so we can just go I'm pretty happy with that so that's how that goes so you now have the option of either sending a test if you want to actually send a test to yourself or we're just going to go back I'm going to go to the bottom and go next um, I don't send this to um, well, actually I might put it on Twitter okay and you know because obviously a bit more reach um, you know what we'll throw it on uh, Facebook as well why not we're just going to go next and we're going to send this out straight away and we're just sending it out to this one list so we'll go save message It just takes a couple of minutes. And this is really how easy it is. So even if you do not know anything about HTML, if you just follow the steps I've just shown you right now, you're going to be able to uh, do this uh, within a couple of minutes. You know, obviously this is quite a extensive uh, coding in HTML, so there's a lot of links to change. But if you do that Control F, or Control Find, and just replace everything down, you'll be fine. Okay, so that's ready to go. I'm just going to send it now and it's done so that's how easy it is to take a HTML email you receive from your business from um, a subscription service and as long as you've obviously got the right to resend that out um, you can do that so um, take advantage of that I uh, hope this helped you in building your business or your whatever you're working on and look forward to seeing you in the next video okay bye